today I have for you some exciting Dollar Tree DIYs you are going to love. Today's trip to the Dollar Tree is a quick one. I'm just going to grab some maple leaf picks that they currently have now. They're vibrant, they're beautiful, and I love them. I'm also going to grab one of these wood planks. You can find them in the craft section, and they have a larger one and a smaller one. I'm going to grab one of these larger ones. I recently watched a video by my friend Catherine from A Perfect Place to Start, and she did a gnome for fall using some, I think it was faux leather leaves, and I thought I'm going to take these beautiful maple leaves and create my own but i'm gonna have her channel linked down below in the description box if you want to check her out all right so i am going to take the leaves and this is what i am going to make the beard for the gnome from and i'm just going to start hot gluing them i'm going to start with wider on the top and then kind of just make it more like a cone towards the bottom and I do fill in here and there where I need it. And I'm trying to really stagger the colors so they're not all yellow in one area or red in one area. I'm trying to keep it nice and staggered. Now that I have the leaves where I want it, I'm going to take one of these foam balls. They come four in a pack. And I'm going to take one of them and I am going to use it as my nose. I am going to flatten one of these sides. That way it's going to be nice and flat to hot glue it. I'm going to take this leftover fabric from one of those little fabric bundles from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to wrap it up, hot glue it with the hot glue gun. And then I'm just going to hot glue it onto the center and the top portion of the leaves. And then of course we needed something like a hat. So the only thing I can think of was drop cloth. Drop cloth has this really textured and it's just very neutral. And because the beard is so colorful, I wanted to keep the hat very neutral. I folded the bottom of it and I'm just going to hot glue it on the each side of the nose, overlapping the nose just a little bit. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to cut off the excess drop cloth. And then I'm going to hot glue it in place. I'm going to flip it to the other side again and I'm just going to kind of make a cone out of it kind of looking like a Santa hat and I'm just going to hot glue it so it's like in a little pointy and then I'm going to fold it in a manner that kind of looks like it's dripping to the side. And then I added this little pine cone right onto the end just to add a little bit more texture and decor. I added an extra couple little maple leaves to the side of the nose just to kind of make it a little bit more fuller. And then I am going to add this little, just a little leftover jute string or ribbon to the back. That way we can hang it from there. And to finish it off, I'm going to add these little brown berries from Dollar Tree. They come in a little packet. And I think this little gnome turned out so beautiful. I love the way it turned out. It's my very first gnome from scratch. And I got to say, I'm pretty proud of it. But let me know what you think. This next Dollar Tree craft is such an easy one. I'm going to take this book that I thrifted a long time ago and I'm going to rip off six pages. I have been ripping out of this book for a long time and it's still going. I'm going to do six pages because we're going to do three sets of two and I'm, we're going to cut off the edges just a little bit so they're a little bit more slim. And then I'm going to take a glue stick and we're just going to glue two of them together to make again three sets. Hey. I am now going to fold one end to about an inch and a half and I'm going to use the first one as a guide to make sure the three of them are folded in the same size. Hey, darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world and now I'm going to cut the bottom of the pages in a V shape and this is going to give me the style more of a banner because that's what we're creating today. I actually saw one online very similar and I thought I can totally make that with Dollar Tree items and how fun would it be to make it for this fall season. So again I use the first one as a guide and now I'm going to cut all three of them. And staying with the leaf theme I am going to cut off three leaves from this pick and then we are going to hot glue one in front of each page. Get in that car. 
I'm going to take some of this lacy ribbon from Dollar Tree and once I had the length that I wanted I folded it in half and made sure that I marked with my finger and then I'm going to use that blue line on my mat as a guide to where the center of the ribbon is. Then I'm going to take one of the pages and I'm just going to place it right inside of the fold of the page. Then I'm going to hot glue it in place and I'll do the same thing with the other two leaving six inches in between each page. And now I am going to take this fabric that I got at Walmart, I want to say it was two years ago, and I'm just going to cut a strip, it's about two inches thick, and then I'm going to cut them in 10 inch length. I'm going to need four of them because we are going to tie these in between each page as well as at the end of each page. And we are just about done with this one. What an easy craft, what an easy DIY anyone can make. You can totally do this one. Just find some pages and it doesn't even have to be pages. It could be anything you want. Easy, festive, and I love the way it looks on my mantle. Hey darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time. Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you take a second and give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up really helps my channel grow and it helps this video reach more people. For this DIY, I am going to take this lantern that I thrifted for $4.99. Guys, I was so thrilled. It's actually a really good size. I removed the faux candle because it was not working. It was rusted. I even placed new batteries, just not working. I also re uh, removed the glass from all three panels i just don't like having glass in my home for my decor and this is really true glass so i just removed them i gave everything a good scrub and then i spray painted it with rustoleum flat white paint a couple of coats is all that it needed i just wanted to make sure that it was fully covered but also not perfect because i did want it to have a little bit of a distressed look Once it was dry, I then took it inside and now I'm going to just add a little bit of a rusted look to it. I'm going to add Antiquing Wax by Waverly. I'm just going to start adding it on the like edges, anywhere where metal and metal meet, where it just makes it look like it's just rusted through the years. And now I am going to place these faux candles that I purchased on Amazon about a year ago. I love them. They're so versatile. Of course, they're very safe. They're battery operated and they come with a remote control. And I do have them on my Amazon store, which by the way, my Amazon store is always linked down below in the description box. If you want to check out some of my favorite items, again, it is linked down below. All right, so now I'm going to place some of these leaf, maple leaves all around the candles, as well as a couple of the picks that have the same style of maple leaves, just to keep it simple, easy, and very festive. And that's it for this one. I placed this one right away on my console table. I just love the way it looks. It's so bright and airy, and I love those fall candles, and the leaves just add those beautiful fall colors. If you enjoy DIY home decor, this is the channel for you. I post every single week, so make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of the content. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this wood round that I got on Amazon. I get a packet of about 10 or 12 of them. This one, I started doing a craft with my kids and it didn't work out, <laughs> but I kept it because I'm not going to throw it away. So we're just going to paint the side that has the drawing and then that way the other side is nice and clean. I'm going to give it two coats of Waverly chalk paint in the white and then I'm going to very lightly sand just to smooth it out. And of course, I'm going to wipe it very, very well because we are going to Mod Podge a decal on it this is one of those window clings that you can find at dollar tree currently they have many designs and i have used them several times for crafts i'm going to mod podge it right in the center this is mod podge it's a matte finish which i prefer but you can use whatever you have on hand 
I'm going to re remove the give thanks portion of the cling and place it right in the center very carefully and taking your time. Once I had all the bubbles removed, I am going to add a little bit more on the ends just where I missed a little bit of the Mod Podge. That way everything's nice and secure. Once I had it, I'm going to seal everything with Mod Podge just so that it is sealed and weatherproof. I am then going to start adding some of those maple leaves. I'm just going to dry fit them first before I hot glue them. That way I know exactly where I want them. I want this wood round to be not only very festive, but almost like these leaves are just falling right off of the trees. So I'm just going to place them here and there and then I'm going to hot glue them in place. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep on linger, linger on. On repeat, like it will be my favorite song. Oh, I know I should be moving, moving. I'm gonna add a bow to the top of this wood round and I'm going to take this Dollar Tree ribbon. I think it goes perfect with the theme today. I'm going to make a very simple bow. This is all I have left so I'm going to make it work. Because the ribbon is only one sided I am going to twist in the center every time I meet in the center. That way the design is all on the outside. Then I'm going to tie it in the center with the same ribbon that I used earlier the lacy one from Dollar Tree. And now that I have the bow made, it's time to just fluff it up just a little bit. Make sure that I fluff it the way I want it because the ribbon is wired, it's very easy to manipulate. Then I'm just going to hot glue it right on top. This is gorgeous. I love the way it looks. And the fact that we use a window cling from Dollar Tree is amazing. One of my favorites from today. Okay, friends, it is that time of the episode where I ask you which one is your favorite. If I have to choose, I would say this one and the wood round. Although the gnome, I really love. I love them all. But let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. If you are visiting for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you consider joining our YouTube family. And if you are returning, thank you so much. I truly appreciate your time. I'm going to have a playlist here with tons more of inspiration for you, as well as another video. Check them out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye. Oh,